Series Land Rovers seem to have a persona that very few cars out there can match. And whilst they're uncomfortable, slow, and rather noisy, there's a real sense of adventure that awaits you behind the wheel. And so, despite my best interests to acquire one earlier, I was pretty stoked to finally get my hands on one. So, with the help of my mates Sam and later on Maddie, who are now an integral part of the Hudson Coachwork story, we went about bringing this old girl back to life. So, with very little tools at the shed at home, we got it started and decided to drag it around to the workshop where on the weekends and after hours we could slowly tick away at it. I guess would make sense why it doesn't want to roll. Exactly. After coming to realise that the friction disc was held tightly between the flywheel and the pressure plate due to the car sitting stationary for too long, we realised we had to somehow shock the system and break it free. So we decided the easiest way was to turn the engine over in gear and use the torque of the starter motor to break free the friction. See how it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So with plenty of laughs shared and the series finally back up and running, I decided to replace the cracked old tyres and give the series a wash and a buff to bring it back to life. So there you have it guys, Series 2A in its former glory. Now I had a ton of fun um, working on this thing with both Matt and Sam. Um, there's plenty of laughs shared and to be honest this thing is about as simple as it gets to work on. Um, we ended up rebuilding the carby, put a new master and slave cylinder on, we put new flexible brake lines, um, freed up one of the brake drums, uh, it was stuck, the, um, I should say the, um, the clutch was stuck, so we ended up freeing it by starting it in gear. Um, did a full service on the car, replaced all the you know, little, um, little rubber bushings on the shocks, and then just, yeah, just gave the car a general look over, and that was more or less about it. Um, everything else is all original. Um, and then as far as getting it ready for rego, we just put on some mirrors that it was missing. And whilst I was there, I just replaced the indicators and the park light, just so it sort of gives us a bit of a fresh look on the front, um, as well as just giving the paintwork a bit of a buff. Obviously, I don't really want to, I don't want to paint it. I don't want to do any of that sort of stuff. I love the old school look to it. Um, but just wanted to see how I go about preserving the old paint. Um, but yeah, aside from that, everything else works perfectly fine. Even the PTO set up in the, uh, in the rear works incredible. Um, so at some stage, I'd love to hook on a slasher or even an auger 
and do some work around the farm on it and help out. Um, but yeah, uh, the plan really is just to get it on historic rego, drive it, go on small little micro adventures and sort of get a bit of an appreciation for its simplistic and very rugged uh, design and, and uh, function. So yeah, that more or less finishes up this episode. Um, if you guys have any any feedback or any questions or any advice or even if you guys know of any cool little adventures that you guys would be able, you know, you'd recommend to do in the series, I'd totally be up for that. Um, but yeah, if not, I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks, guys. <laughs>